question number 34. Two coils of wire are wound around an iron cylinder. This is one coil, this is the other coil. Okay. One coil is connected in a circuit with a cell and a switch that is initially closed. Initially, it is already closed. That means what? There is a current which has already been flowing through it. The other coil is connected to an ammeter. This is another coil. There is no connection between them. The switch is open at time t, t0. Okay. So, after some time, let us say maybe this t0 could be 5 seconds also. Okay. You open this. What is the ammeter reading before t0 and what is the ammeter reading after t0? Before opening the switch, there is already a current passing through. There is a magnetic field over here. Now, see, you can have an induced current only when there is a change in the magnetic field. So, you put a DC current. So, there will be a constant magnetic field. So, no change in the magnetic field, no induced EMF, no induced current. So, therefore, what happens? The reading here would be 0. Okay. So, therefore, see, these two are incorrect. These two are incorrect. It should be one of them. Then, the moment you open this, what will happen? Then, suddenly, there will be a change in the magnetic flux. What do you mean by that? It means... Until when the switch is on, there is a magnetic field B here and when you open this one, no current passes through it, our magnetic field falls to zero, which means what? There is a change in the magnetic field. When there is a change in the magnetic field, what does the coil do here? Coil tries to oppose it according to the lens law and as a result of it, there will be a peak current over here and then the current will not sustain for a long time because it, after some time, there is no change in the EMF, no change in the magnetic field. Okay? Initially, it is changed and after that becomes zero. Okay, and as a result of it, it will go to a peak of current and finally fall to zero. So, therefore, the answer is E. Okay, let us move on.